Let's take a moment to talk about a tale that's unfortunately as old as time, The Flash Crash, which happens pretty much regularly once a year on any number of exchanges for any number of reasons. We can point to Binance in there. Flash crashes in the other direction through API exploits. I did an article in May 2019 talking about the Bitstamp flash crash, which was because of a specific order type. Almost invariably, these flash crashes involve something on the spot markets, which in some cases can greatly affect derivatives markets if they do not have a robust indice, which is what this article was referencing, robust index. In this case, you had likely players looking to crush the spot markets so that they could directly crush the derivatives markets rather easily. And you get times like this where the market's extremely out of sync, especially in relative to each other and especially relative to an index, and you get a big spike in liquidations. This is the, the goal for people looking to manipulate the market in this way. And you can think of it perhaps as an exploitation of a weakness. Now. In the most recent example with Kraken, I don't think it was even as nefarious as that. We've had examples of this on Bitfinex in 2016. I did this video for another YouTube channel talking about what happened during their downtime in 2016, which was a combined 13 hours, I believe, if the notes are correct. And that caused all sorts of disconnects as Bitcoin's 24-7, and we don't have downtime per se, at least unscheduled downtime happens frequently. Um, scheduled downtime happens frequently, but when you have downtime relative to price action, that's when you, you get big problems. And in this case, the other day, we had a moment on Kraken where the bid and the ask essentially disappeared, more the bid than the ask, but it disappeared in a long enough period of time where price basically took the path of least resistance and fell through the cracks. Now, unfortunately, the CEO, Jesse Powell, came out immediately saying this was a, an effective margin, this was a bad beat, this was a gray swan event. Um, unfortunately, Jesse was incorrect in this, greatly so. And how do we know this? Well, we can look at other exchanges. We can look at Gemini, Bitstamp, Coinbase, Bitfinex. We can look at all these exchanges in aggregate. We can say, okay, what happened in these cases for ETH? Well, the uh, image really speaks for itself. <laughs> we have the, indis the index, the ELX here in the orange, which was the least affected because it's an aggregate of exchanges. We have Kraken in the red here where all of a sudden we had prices spike below 750 temporarily, causing a margin cascade, effectively, where if you were long, let's say you were long from 1500 in a 5x position, there was a good chance that uh, that position got margin called, and several positions below that got margin called. So this really begs the question, why did it happen on Kraken and nowhere else? Is it because there is margin involved? Is that really the only reason? Or is it because the exchange infrastructure is fragile and cannot handle the volatility? And this is more of a critique of every exchange than just Kraken, because none of them is safe from this kind of activity. Almost none of the exchanges can handle the extreme load of price volatility. But is that an excuse for st something like this to happen? Of course not. It took people threatening legal action for Kraken to come around on this. And to be fair, I don't know exactly what the timeline was as far as <laughs> when people are threatening legal action and when Jesse says, something like uh, any amount of leverage is risky, this is a bad bet. And later on he said something to the effect of we admit no wrongdoing and uh, it's not our responsibility. Uh, but at some point you have to take a look in the mirror, Jesse and Kraken and all, the, all these exchanges. You know, it's, it happened on Kraken most recently, but it's gonna happen again. It invariably does. It's invariably gonna be a spot market. And the worst part of this on Kraken is it wasn't just ETH. It was DOT as well. It was other other pairs as well that I haven't looked at uh, just yet or heard about. But they are offering refunds to some degree. So if you feel like you were affected by this, definitely reach out to them. 
But the worst thing to do is to come out and say, yeah, we were not at fault here. This is all just natural market effects. I mean, come on, just just look look at the data, guys, right? Like, it seems pretty clear to, hear, clear to me what's going on here. The exchange just didn't work in that period of time. And there are certainly some people who see price action like this and are excited. They're elated. They bought the lows. They got a cheap discount. Um, you can certainly view it in that way that, you know, Kraken's the best exchange because it frequently has massive dips like this. Nothing as bad as this in recent memory. You know, no 60% drops in recent memory. But it does frequently have poor liquidity, which is one reason why I personally just set my bids and asks several percentage points above or below where I think prices will go because it's Kraken and Kraken's known for that. But when you have instances where volume goes to zero, this isn't people not wanting to trade during volatile times. This is something fundamentally wrong with the exchange. And they can say that they did the due diligence and looked at themselves and said everything was fine. But guys, come on, let's be real here. If we look at BTC as well, the same thing. When you see spreads widen like this, uh, there's something wrong here with the infrastructure. Something more than market makers pulling their bids and asks, you know, there's there's something going on here <laughs> that really needs to be addressed or else it's just going to keep happening again and again and again. And the only way change is going to happen is if you vote with, with your dollars and go somewhere else. Unfortunately for U.S. citizens, Kraken is one of the few places where you can actually get leverage. And what happened with uh, BitMEX is they eventually wisened up and added more exchanges to their index so that they had a more robust index. So there's a, there's a time and a place to blame leverage and there's a time and a place to look in the mirror and say, you know what? Our infrastructure didn't handle it. It performed poorly. I'm glad they're giving refunds. It's the right thing to do. But based on their behavior, it looks like as though nothing's going to change and it's going to happen again. So, you know, <laughs> trade accordingly on, on Kraken because there isn't a guarantee that they will refund you every time. But if we make a big enough stink on social media... There typically is some sort of response from whether it be Bitstamp, BitMEX, Binance, or in this case, Kraken. And the lesson as a trader here is definitely to use leverage responsibly. Try to trade on indices as much as you can. Try not to rely on a single exchange as a single point of failure. Use stop losses to the best of your ability. Uh, but you also have to keep in mind that this stuff's going to keep happening. So. While I personally didn't lose money to this, it's definitely reasonable and justified, as the evidence appears to be damning where <laughs> where there was clearly a break in Kraken's infrastructure here. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Were you affected by this? What did you think of uh, their response at Kraken? Is it really every man for themselves, or does the exchange shoulder some of the responsibility here? 